Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. I hope you all are doing good today. All right, so I'm gonna be doing your general reading. Please keep in mind, this is general, so it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Some pieces may be your story and some pieces may be someone else's story that's watching. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, there are other readings on my channel that you could look at um, that may resonate with you or maybe some of you may need a personal reading. I don't do personal readings, but if you're looking for something specific, you may wanna um, consider a personal reading. But either way, let's go ahead and let's get into your reading. This is going to be for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You know what I'm getting for you guys, Cancers? I'm getting something around relationships. You may be struggling when it comes to relationships in your life. And yeah, see clarity, but you're going to get some sort of clarity. I feel like you may be having some having some challenges when it comes to the uh, relationships in your life with people, the people that you're dealing with. Mm, we got here spiritual awakening. This is you. You're about to get clarity and go through some sort of spiritual awakening when it comes to people. I really feel like this has to do with people. And then we got here dreams coming in too. Um, you may be getting dreams about people as well and your relationships i'm also feeling like there's communication like meaning like spirit or sources like they're trying to communicate with you i feel like someone is trying to like i'm not someone but whatever higher power you believe in is trying to communicate with you there's something that's going to become clear with this clarity there's something that's going to be made clear for you you're in the middle of a spiritual awakening. And keep in mind when I say spiritual awakening, this is not saying that uh, like you're having a spiritual awakening and that's it. There's layers to awakening. And you're in the midst of an, of an awakening. There is something else. Because you're, you're going to constantly be experiencing this. You're a student of life. So you're going to be constantly learning, growing, and evolving. And I feel like you're in the middle right now of some sort of major spiritual awakening. And it's meant to give you some sort of clarity. And I feel like you may not be seeing it clear or there may be some sort of veil over your eyes right now to where you can't see. And it's like they're trying to communicate with you so that you can see what you need to see. And they may even be using dreams, trying to connect with you in your dream state. We got here listening listening because that's they can't get in contact with you in the daytime or when you're not sleeping because i'm getting here that there's noise in your head there's something in your head that's noisy so i feel like your spirit isn't hasn't been calm lately which is why we saw grounding so i feel like your spirit has not been calm so it's like they've been trying to get your attention in other ways but they haven't been successful. So they're now trying to get to you in your dream state so that you can see something clearly that you're not seeing. That's yeah, so, and it's, yeah, see, look at here. They're, look, whatever it is that's going on with this awakening, it's meant to heal your soul. It's meant to give you some sort of healing. You may have it too, guys, where uh, people, relationships, people are coming back into your life. That's going to want to uh, reconcile with you, want to clear the air with you. That's why listening may be important because it's not saying that, you know, you need to go run off and be with these people. But having these conversations where you're listening and understanding each other's perspective will be so healing for the both of you. It doesn't mean that you run off and you guys have to make up and be in each other's life, but they're saying that it would be beneficial to heal a relationship, but it feels like multiple relationships. So like I said, you may have people um, that you haven't spoken to in years wanting to reconcile with you. And I feel like it will be, it will be important to your growth. To have have out these conversations because there's something with reconciling or just at least talking to these people that's going to be made clear to you. Yeah, I told you relationships. I told you guys. I knew it. That yes, there is definitely something going on when it comes to this. Is all about relationships. 
definitely this is all about relationships and yes see you're being prepared getting grounded so i feel like you may be feeling scattered and you know there's too much noise in your head and spirit is looking to ground you looking to prepare you for this healing so yeah you're going to have some people that's going to want to come back into your life and want to make up but i feel like it's going to be important to listen listen for understanding because some you're going I feel like you may even see the the situation different. Uh-oh. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like you're being prepared because there's going to be some people coming back into your life. As a matter of fact, let me use my prophecy deck. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Rising, Venus signs. I'm going to take a prophecy card. Now it's time to think outside the box and change your approach when it comes to an endeavor you've been focused on. And look, a shift in your family will cause challenges with the dynamic. See, relationships with family. Yes, I feel like, see, that's why it says now is the time to think outside the box. Because there's something about your thinking that needs to change. Because it says, change your approach. So I feel like you're being prepared. It hasn't happened yet. So you may even be giving dreams. Someone that you may be dreaming about or um, you may be thinking about. Because they're giving you signs. They're going to be giving you signs. It's going to come to reconcile. And they're preparing you. Your approach when it comes to like at least talking, making amends. It's like your approach around it needs to change. And that's why that spiritual awakening is there. Because it's like you're meant to evolve and grow from the situation. And it, it looks like it may have something to do with a family member or family in general. It's around family. Let's see what we can find out. We, the Queen of Wands came out in reverse. This could be a fire sign. Or this, or how you could recognize this person. They don't have to be a fire sign, but the Queen of Wands is coming down in reverse. It could be Sag, Aries, or Leo. But this is someone that that's like a drama queen. This is someone that starts stuff. So whoever this person is, they can be very jealous. They may see you as competition. And I feel like this is someone that did start it. They, but I feel like this person operates on like a childlike level. So they may be an adult, but have the mindset of a child. And I feel like whoever this person is, they need some sort of soul healing. And I feel like that's what's going to become clear for you. You're going to see this person in a different light. And I feel like that's what spirit is trying to, to have take place for you. They want you to see this person differently. And what I mean by that, again, like, this is not saying you need to be with this person, but this is saying that there needs to be some sort of conversation had so that there could be closure. But I feel like when you, when this person comes back, there is like something about them that you're going to see different. That's going to become clear for you. Yeah. See, Hermit, you haven't spoken. Hermit. The hermit card is coming in. This is, see, you're meant, and I, and I know this is hard to hear for some of you because when you're dealing with this drama, this drama queen, this queen of wands, they could be bitchy. They may have acted like a bitch towards you. They could be manipulative. Again, seeing you as competition. This is a family member. That's why it could be difficult because you don't expect a family member to act that way. You expect someone you don't know to act that way, right? But here it is. This is a family member that you have not spoken to coming to make amends. But Spirit is saying, look at it differently than how you've been looking at it. You're meant to be a guide. It's, I know it's, I know some of you don't want to hear because it's like, why, why, why I got to be the bigger person? But you're meant to be some sort of guide for this person. This person, as quiet as, it, as it's kept, they look up to you. And this is their inner child acting out. This is this queen of wands, this drama queen's inner child is acting out. They have not healed. Some sort of soul issue 
some, some sort of child issue that they have. And I feel like you're meant to lead the way for this person. Somehow, some way, you're meant to be some sort of guy. And that's probably why this is a family member, because you can't you can't really run from this, right? Because if it was someone on the street, you probably could just move on and be like, forget it, I don't care. But this is a family member. There is meant to be some sort of lesson and some sort of deep soul lesson for the both of you. But you're meant to be that guy. You're meant to be that that light for this person. You're meant to turn on that light because they don't see themselves as a queen of wands in reverse. I feel like you're meant to give them some sort of clarity about, uh, about the situation. But again, it says think outside of the box, change how you approach giving them that clarity. We got here. Yeah, see, here's the eight of wands. There's there's going to be some communication that's going to be initiated by this queen of wands because there's a lot of fire coming in. There's a lot of fire. It's a lot of drama. It's getting heated up in here. It's getting heated, and you may not want to deal with this because I'm seeing the seven of wands because you don't trust the person. And I feel like both of you, like I feel like whoever this queen of wands is. Look at all this fire that's coming through. You got the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Whoever this person is, I feel like even though there could be like, you know, some some way where you guys are going to have to talk, I feel like this person still feels, you know, uh, justified in their behavior. That's what I'm saying. But they don't see the error of their ways. But somehow, some way, there's going to be some sort of communication initiated. But I feel like neither one of you are going to be wanting to back down because I feel like this person may have done too much to you because I'm seeing these nine wands and they're very defensive. Whoever this queen of wands is, they're very defensive. So if you tell them all of the things that they did to wound you, all of the things that they did over time that affected you, they're going to be very guarded and defensive. Again, they're, they're going to have a hard time listening. They're going to have a hard time receiving. And I'm seeing here this page. I feel like young, this page of source. This is someone that's young mentally. And that's what I was talking about with that child. So I feel like how you approach this person, how you deal with this person, you have to think outside of the box. Because again, you're meant to be this guy. You're the one that have the higher, uh, you know, the higher intelligence, the higher knowledge. This is going to challenge you. It's going to challenge you to be that, that guide, that wiser person. You're an older soul. You are an older soul, and you're meant to be a light to this person. This could have been part of your, your soul contract, but I, it seems like there's going to be some sort of conversation because it looks like the conversation is being had with someone else. They could be talking to someone else and maybe within that conversation, you are coming up. They're talking about you in that conversation and someone may be talking about the two of you reconciling and working things out with this three of pentacles. Yeah, justice, making some sort of amends because of a betrayal. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're talking to someone. But they, but I'm telling you, I just want to forewarn you. Like, I just feel like, yeah, they're having a conversation with someone about working things out with you, but they still don't feel wrong about what happened. And that's, and I feel like that's what's part of the challenge. Like they don't see the fault that they did. And again, it comes from, you know, like I said, that child energy with them, that, that young mentality, a younger soul. They're a younger soul. This person's a younger soul and you're an older soul. And that's why there's probably some tension because this could be someone that's older than you, but their soul is not older than you. Your soul is older than theirs. Their soul is younger than you. They have a young soul. And that's why you're meant to be a guy. And this is meant to awaken you. So that you can see that you, so you can see that you are that guy. You are that leader. You are that, you're going through an ascension yourself. And they're looking to ground you and prepare you to take, the, to take this charge here on earth. Here on earth. 
you're getting prepared to take some sort of charge. And see, I told you, they've been trying to communicate with you. Communication. And look, God is saying, I am present. I am in the midst of this. I am presence. And this, I feel like this I am presence too. I feel like, you know, and this is not beat you up because it is an awakening for you, right? I feel like this is Spirit's way of saying it's time to awaken. It's time to, you know, claim your rightful purpose. No more playing small. No more, you know, allowing, you know, these types of soul connections, these relationships to hinder you. Because remember I said there was a lot of noise. You have to realize you're an evolved souls. So you're going to be attracting unevolved souls. And that is because you're meant to guide them. You're meant to help in their soul healing. So yeah, they're having a conversation. And I told you, yeah, they're trying to communicate to you. Because they want you to, to, to wake up. The spiritual awakening. They want you to wake up so that you can take your rightful place on earth. So you can start following your path and your purpose. Yeah, see, here comes the Knight of Cups. So we see here, you know, again, coming, being kind. Now, I don't know if this is you or them, but oh, okay. Somebody is at a crossroads with how to approach this. Now, keep in mind, they don't feel like they're wrong, but they're going to come and maybe apologize anyway, because someone may be talking to them saying to apologize to you or to work things out with you. Someone is in their ear. So they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Because whatever happened between the two of you, it was it was definitely painful for both of you. Both of you had a problem. Both of you had a problem with each other. Both of you may have even felt right. Both of you could have felt defensive. But I do feel like this person has done a lot to you, Cancer. But the thing about it is, I feel like people are starting to see this person with this seven of wands. I feel like this person, and I feel like that's what's, that's where they're really, uh, why they feel like they need to apologize to you because maybe someone is calling them out. So people are starting to like point the finger at them with this seven of wands. They're getting attacked. And that's why someone is encouraging them to make up with you. Like, you know, yeah, see, here's the tower. I told you they don't want to do it. The tower is in reverse because they, they're afraid of what's going to be uh, with this tower. They're afraid of whatever could possibly get revealed in this moment. Because I feel like as you being this guy and someone that people look up to, you may speak the truth. And you may say what needs to be said that the other people don't say. And I feel like that's where some of the hesitation is coming in from this person. Because what you say could feel like a tower moment to them. A painful tower moment. Soul stirring tower moment. And they're trying to resist that. So they may try to come around. Yep, didn't I say that? Here's the queen of swords. See, very direct and blunt. That's what I'm talking about. That's you. So when they come... It's like, no, we're not going to sweep this under the rug with the Queen of Swords. We're going to talk about this. The Queen of Swords likes to get down to the root of the problem. And this person is not wanting to get to the root of the problem. Because getting to the root of the problem is going to be opening up wounds. Opening up things that they have tried to hide, run from, or conceal. They're trying to avoid the healing. They're trying to, that's why they're guarded. They don't want to be told about the error of their ways. And that queen of swords will do that. She's going to speak the truth. But your truth and, and you speaking the truth could be painful or harsh to this person. She's going to be direct, not having any emotion. And that's why Spirit said maybe change your approach. Because, you know, listening and having some emotion would be beneficial. It's like, yes, you can be the queen of swords and how you communicate and how you listen. Because she's a good listener and she's also good at communicating. And she's about the truth, honesty, but she's also fair. But I feel like the approach should come with the Knight of Cups. It should come with compassion, sincerity, love. So there's going to need to be some sort of yielding. And I feel like it's going to have to come from you as the more evolved soul. 
And I feel like once this situation gets healed, then you can take your rightful place in the world. This may even inspire you. Yep, your life purpose. Yeah, see, your life purpose. That's, that's what this is about. That's what this is about. Healing this relationship is preparing you for your life purpose as this leader, as this guide. You have divine wisdom and see self mastery, but you have to first master it with your family. Self, you have to match. That's what I'm saying. Like it's going to require you doing something outside of the box. Your approach is going to have to be different. And when you do that, that's that self mastery. Ego dying. I'm ready to, I got this wisdom. I'm ready to teach. I'm ready to step into my purpose. But it starts with healing this family situation. All right. So let's see. Cancers. Sun, moon, rising. Venus signs. Tell me about cancer. Uh-oh. Not right. Tell me about cancer. Sun, moon, rising. Venus signs. All right. So we got bright future. That's really nice. I like that for you guys. Yep. See your, your divine purpose. It says the future is looking bright for you. Look forward to your future with positiveness. Wonderful things will be happening for you. Then we have here dreams. The second time dreams is coming through, right? It says pay close attention to your dreams and visions. You will receive guidance while dreaming. A deceased loved one will visit you in a dream. So for some of you, you have a deceased loved one that's going to be coming to visit you in a dream. And again, I don't feel like this queen of wands is just about one relationship. I feel like it has to do with relationships in general and your approach needing to change as a more evolved soul. Someone is going to be contacting you, communicating with you to help you, to help you with this because it's part of your life purpose and you're meant to break some sort of family pattern. And then we have here protected. You are safe and protected from all harm. Stop worrying and having fear in your life. Now is a time for you to relax and feel safe. All right. So let's see what is coming Cancer's way that they don't see coming. Let's use one of these cards. What is coming Cancer's way that you don't see coming? Yeah, I can see why you're feeling, why this protected, because there could have been some feelings of paranoia because of all the adversity that you've been experiencing. So you have some really deep trust issues, but spirit is saying you are okay. There is with these butterflies transformation change and we saw rebirth. So there is some changes that are, and there's another butterfly. There's a butterfly and here are butterflies. So yeah, you are going through a rebirth. You are going through a transformation. And Spirit is letting you know that you're going to be able to feel safe moving forward. You are protected in the midst of what's going on as well. But let's see what's coming your way you don't see coming. And it says the perfect partner for you to build with and navigate through life with will be available to you before the end of the year. So that's what's coming your way. Let me pull one um, clarification. What's coming your way is that you don't see that you're going to have the perfect partner to actually build with and navigate through life. And this person will be available to you by the end of the year. But the strength card is showing up. I feel like when that happens, you're not going to have the strength because remember relationships is a key theme of your reading because of all the issues in the relationships, you may feel like you're better off single. You may be even feeling good being by yourself. And it's like, I don't have the strength to give to a relationship, but here comes the opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And this person that's coming your way is actually serious. They're going to be looking to start something serious. They're going to be coming in solid. So if this is someone that's coming in, you know, being wishy-washy, not knowing what they want, that is not that person. That is not the person that we're talking about. This is someone that you can actually build with. This is someone that's actually serious and they're going to make what it is that they want known from the very start. And they're going to start out being very consistent. And this is someone that you actually deserve. This is justice for you. All right. 
best of luck to you guys. Take care. Bye.